what this, day, this game means for you, Coach? Well, um, a little bit more than it did last year, uh, to be honest with you. Walking into the game last year, uh, you know, heard a lot about it and, and really felt like I'd been in a, a few decent venues and been a part of some big rivalries myself. And, and walking into the, to the glass bowl last year, and from the second we walked in to the, to the time it ended, I mean, on every single play, I mean, you could just feel the energy in, 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 the, in the stadium. So it was definitely one of the, the better memories uh, that I've had coaching this game, playing this game. So uh, I definitely have an understanding how passionate uh, both communities are uh, about this competition. So uh, looking forward to getting after it again uh, this Wednesday. Is this a game that can kind of, if you've had a difficult year? Oh, no doubt. No right? doubt. I mean, you know, you win your rivalry game and, and sometimes all is forgiven. Now, that being said, we know that's not the case. We know that there's a lot of work um, that needs to be done. Um, um, you know, and it, it starts with, with preparing those kids to the best of our abilities uh, to go out and give themselves the best chance to, to, to win the game, not go compete, but to win the ball game. And, uh, and it starts with, with number one, me uh, making sure our coaching staff believes that. And then we got to go out as a group and as a unit, make sure that football team believes it. And uh, um, felt like we've done a good job of that all year. Felt like we did a great job of that last year uh, leading into uh, Toledo game uh, when, uh, you know, really nobody gave us any shot. Um, and, you know, you look up, it's 35-35 with three minutes left to go. So uh, they'll compete, and, you know, uh, it, it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, you know, you could feel it this morning doing workout that there was a focus there. Uh, even off coming off a disappointing loss uh, uh, to Buffalo, there was definitely a, a focus there, and everybody was locked in and ready to go. When, when you look back at last year, on paper, it's a very similar situation. It is. How were you guys able to, to rally this football team when you're having a not so good season for your rivalry game? Well, uh, the biggest thing that I tried to do at, at, at that time was, was to make sure that, that we looked at it for what it was, the next ball game. And there's no more important ball game than the, the opponent that you have at hand. And, and the approach will be similar. Now, uh, um, you know, I have and, and, and they will acknowledge and if you ask our kids throughout the week, they'll acknowledge that, that that we want bragging rights and, 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 and it's important to our community and our fan base. But at the same time, um, we've got to learn to focus. Uh, we're, we're not to the point yet where we can overlook anybody. So each and every game that we play every week, we have to be at our best. And uh, what are you looking for from uh, Toledo? Uh, I look for them to be a little bit ornery um, um, after uh, last week's performance to Ohio. Um, although they've had some injuries, um, that, that they've had to overcome as you know as we all have in our conference but it shows you uh, the effect that those losing some guys uh, one or two guys can make a big difference uh, you, you know they got a lot to play for you, you know we're uh, you know goes back and, and we're, we're playing for pride and and we're being and, and, and you know when you've got a group of guys that's close uh, that can be dangerous um, but you know, they need this one. They need this one to, to, to get back to the MAC championship for the first time I, since I think maybe 2004 or so. Uh, I could be wrong there, but uh, they, they won't leave any, any stone unturned in their preparation this week, and uh, they'll, they'll have a sense of urgency about them, and we got to match it. So, uh, you know, it's exciting to, 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 to be in an environment like that in and, and, and a game that, that, that has meaning, uh, uh, championship implications for them. Uh, you never want to be the one that lets him in. Um, got a great relationship with Coach Kendall, probably uh, uh, closer to him than anyone else in the MAC. Uh, but at the same at the same time, I want him to get in next week, not this one. Um, for for you guys, when you look at what Ohio did to them last week, is there anything that you can pick from what Ohio did to help you guys? Uh, two different teams. You know what I mean? They did the same thing to them uh, that they did to us in the fourth quarter. Uh, they got foot to foot up inside and uh, leaned on them a little bit. And, and uh, you know, they had a hard time playing those double, double teams just like we did. Um, Ohio's a good football team, well-coached football team. Um, they know their strength, and, and they utilize their offensive line and kind of warm down a little bit. Um, you know, I know they're banged up a little bit up front, uh, offensive line-wise a little bit, and, and uh, they were able to get after, and maybe not so much in sacks, uh, Logan, but, but to keep constant pressure in his face. And, um, guys, we're going to have any success. It's something that, that we have to do because if not, uh, it'll look like last week. Um, and he's deadly accurate, and he's got weapons. So uh, we're going to have to find a way to to uh, get pressure on the quarterback, and, and um, you know, and on the back end, uh, give him a little bit, little bit of help because uh, he, he's a good one. 
you talked about in this league how bad you need a quarterback. Mm -hmm. Toledo obviously has the best one in the league. Right. Um, what has jumped out at you about what about Logan's career and what you've seen from him? Well, he he constantly puts him in, in, in situations to be successful. He understands that uh, um, uh, that he's got weapons around him and that it's his job to facilitate that football. And and really, what he does better than anything else, he doesn't beat himself. You know, what I mean, he, he he takes what he's given and. He takes the check down, and he's constantly uh, going from run to pass, pass to run, depending on the situation. And he completes a, uh, a high percentage of his passes. You know, we talk about the word that we're looking for in offense, and what I've liked about Jared Dakey, that efficiency deal. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm willing to bet he's probably at the top of our conference and probably one of the tops in the nation. And when you got a quarterback that that's doing those things uh, uh, week in and week out, you give yourself a chance to be successful. Not only that, the rest of your team feeds off of it. You know what I mean? And, and really, I looked at last week's ball game. We had some uh, turnovers early, got down 21-7, um, but, but they just felt like, like this kid was going to keep us in the ball game. You know what I mean? And, and you know, lo and behold, he completes some passes. We go 99 yards, 21-14. We come back out. Uh, we don't turn it over in the second half. You wake up, and 10 minutes to go in the fourth, it's 31-28. You got a chance. And that's huge. And that's what – I know that's a long answer, but that's what he's done for uh, – that, that program over the last three years. So hats off to him. Uh, excited for the opportunity to get a chance to compete with him. Well, you've also talked, and I know you were talking more about Logan than Jarrett, but there was some Jarrett mixed in there, right? so especially with the efficiency. Could you also, the thing that struck me was the toughness yeah, tough um, on Tuesday. He's tough kid. He hung in the pocket, which is the same thing, you know, and those are, those are a lot of attributes that, that you know, people tend to, to, to to talk about when they're, we're speaking about Logan. So uh, uh, hopefully uh, uh, we have some similar results, but it's too early to tell that. What I, what I do know is that he gets it. And uh, I know that there's, a, there's an aura about him and a confidence about him that, uh, um, you know, that, that our, our, our kids tend to rally around. Um, you know, uh, they, they, uh, they recognize the, his, his willingness to sit in the pocket and take the hit and, and not get uh, happy feet, so, the, so they're called. But uh, um, it's got a long way to go, but uh, not a bad place to start. Is, is, is that the difference in the offense when Jarrett's a quarterback then? Uh, probably the, the biggest difference has been, our, uh, again, our efficiency. And, and um, you know, when you look at completion percentages and, um, you know, some of the decision making is, is uh, he's making quicker decisions than um, we were making earlier in the year, and he's, you know, again, getting the ball out to his weapons. I think you're starting to see a lot, you know, games where you got eight, nine, ten guys having catches, and that's just kind of, kind of having a plan and kind of knowing exactly where he wants to do and and what can and what cannot hurt him. And going forward, just a little bit bigger picture. There were some encouraging things, but I know a lot of people have some questions for your staff. Um, do you anticipate that you will need to weigh? Significant changes this offseason, and how difficult. Well, it's all—it's all, it, it, it's, you know, and this is not the time. It's always about continuous improvement. You know what I mean? And, and it'll start with me, and I'll go and, you know, self-evaluate myself and the things I felt like I did well and I didn't do well, and I'm sure our administration will do the same. And then from that point, uh, I'll do the same with our staff. But, uh, um, you, you know, uh, right now it's not the time to have those discussions. I guess that, uh, going into this game, how do you keep these young players? not overthinking this game? How do you keep them level-headed? Well, that, that was the challenge last year, and really we, we really tried to, you know, really tried to do a great job of not playing the game up. But, uh, um, you know, going through it a year, uh, it's kind of impossible to do. The whole, the whole both, both uh, Bowling Green and Toledo and Perrysburg in the middle will be talking about it. And so uh, really it's just keeping them focused on, on um, you know, what we need to do to improve this week as a football team. And again, it's easier to do when you're in a situation like ours because there, there's tons to improve on. So we'll continue to focus on the small things and making sure that we, we correct some of the mistakes that we made uh, last week's game and, and continue, continue to build on some of the things we did successful. Um, from a scheme standpoint, the last thing that I want to do is go and try and reinvent the wheel. Um, you know, we, we have an idea of who we are, for better or for worse. We need to make sure that uh, we put them in situations uh, that they feel comfortable in and uh, you know, make sure that they're playing fast. 
And with it being the last home game of the season, do you feel like that also gives them more extra motivation as well? Oh, no doubt. Uh, it's been a rough uh, home stretch for us, and I know that the, those guys want to go out the right way. So definitely, um, there's a sense of urgency to get this one at home. We had this discussion earlier too, Coach, about these action games, eight o'clock at night on a weeknight. Your thoughts? Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, you know, I can't really worry about the things that I, that I can't control, but I. I'll say this uh, to the powers that be, it sure would be nice to get them on a Saturday night and kind of return the favor like they got last year because I think that, that really made, number one, it was a beautiful evening, you know, early afternoon, whatever you want to call it, but being on a Saturday, that, 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 you know, this, this rivalry, in my humble opinion, new to it, but it deserves that. And that's maybe something that, uh, you know, can be discussed uh, moving forward. Uh, a preach. Second. Um, you admitted that you didn't know a ton about this rivalry coming in. What have you learned in the last year or so since that game? Well, um, number one, that, that these, these two communities are extremely close. And, uh, and it's kind of like, uh, like I alluded to earlier, it's kind of like uh, playing your big brother. You know what I mean? Um, again, Coach Candle and I probably, uh, we've got a good relationship. Again, uh, talk to him as much as I talk to anybody in the conference. But at the same time, uh, I won't beat him. And I guarantee you that he wants this one uh, just as bad. So, uh, um, you know, uh, it, it's just a lot of fun to be a part of, man. Um, you, you know, it, it's one of those deals to where you, you walk into Sam B's or, or the Kroger's or, you know, any of, any of the local spots. And I said, Coach, you know it's been a rough year, but get this one. You know, so it um, means a lot to our community. And, uh, you know, we're going to go out and we're going to fight for them. Looking at the back end, just I don't want to harp on last week, but I'm gonna. Um, we talked a lot about last year putting guys in positions to succeed. Right. Did you feel like you guys were able to do that last week? And what changes do you have to make this week? Well, I, I feel like uh, you know that that Buffalo and Lance and his staff did a great job of uh, taking advantage of the opportunities. You know, I think. Uh, um, and it's tough uh, in the style of offense that everybody's playing right now because everybody's double looking and checking, you know what I mean? Uh, if anything, uh, one of the things that uh, we definitely need to prove is, is disguising some things and, and maybe, uh, I think they knew when we were in man and, and when they saw it, uh, they went after them. So uh, we got to do a better job of protecting it and disguising it a little bit, but there's certain instances, you know, you're going to, some of your, your, your pressures you know, you got to lock up it, man, and you got to hold up. And, and and if you're not getting to him, then, you know, Tyree's able to hold on that ball and launch it 50 yards, and you just get outrun. So, um, you know, those are those are things that we need to, to look at and try to find answers to. Good. Uh, real quick, you know, um, um, before I get out of here today, I um, want to make sure that I wish – my dad, a happy Veterans Day, along with all the other men and women that uh, have served this country. Uh, I am definitely a military brat and proud of it. So um, thank you for all you do. Appreciate you.